I'm Martin, and as you might know, I'm from Germany, so English is not my native language. Um, that means I have to get better at it. So I thought, what would be the best way? And that's actually just speaking. But all my friends are German, and speaking with them in English is kind of, yeah, weird, I think. So I thought about streamcasts. Uh, this means I have to speak English. I can uh, hopefully share something awesome with you and get better at speaking English. I am um, reading and listening a lot of English and writing, but speaking is just another just another thing. So um, bear with me. Maybe after a few screencasts, it already got a little bit better, and hopefully um, I don't have to say um, so much anymore. So today I want to show you a simple technique to center elements. Um, before we often had to use position absolute and margin top with a negative value, so you had to know how big the um, element is that you are going to center. But it happens uh, that there's another much smarter technique to um, do that. And I want to show you. So let's say we have some div and that has a class of center me. And there we have a paragraph with some lorem ipsum text. Here you see that's code pen. I, I think you all know what code pen is. I can write HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and see the output on the left. And without saving anything, but probably I will. Uh, that's it's perfect to just show you some code. I can disable the JS panel and only see the HTML and CSS and the output because JS um, we don't need. So let's see. We have this this uh, center me diff and some reset I always do is just margin and padding zero and I set the box sizing to border box. Um, I hope you all know what this does. Um, if not, I can can do another video on it, but it's not important for this example. I just like to have this reset. So um, I don't do any prefixes because we use, I can show you, we use auto prefixer. That means uh, if you look at the compile preview, it automatically adds the prefixes that are needed. In this case, WebKit and MOS. But I don't think the Mozilla prefixes really isn't. I think it isn't really necessary. But okay, it's there. It's so um, let's just make body and HTML uh, one hundred percent height, so we can we have the whole the whole body. And then we can style the center meet diff. Let's say this has a width of maybe 20 pixels just to get a little, little height of it. Okay, so we have no idea what the height is. We, we don't specify it here. So um, all we need to do now is set it to position relative. So we can, can use values like top 50%. And left fifty percent, and you can see it already moved fifty percent from the top and left fifty percent. This means that this edge is in the center of the window, but we want the, the whole box in the center. So um, let's make the background some boring gray. So this box. And now what we can do is just say transform, this is CSS3, translate, only no, not translate, translate, um, and then 
minus 50% and minus 50%. So that's the value for the x axis. I hope that's the right word. So you see, it's moving this line. And 50% means take 50% of the of yourself and move to the left and minus 50% for the y axis means 50% of yourself and move to the top and now it's perfectly centered in the screen and it doesn't matter how big this box is we don't have to specify it with an actual height we, we could do that but uh, wait, we don't have to and with the the old approach uh, with position absolute and margin top minus x uh, we have to we have to specify the height of the box. So this means it's perfect for responsive design because often we don't know how uh, tall an element is. Let's say there is some more text in it. So maybe maybe this or even more, and it has a mark width of 500 pixel so and now I can squish it and it changed the height but it also st stays centered in the window so that's pretty cool I think yeah so that that was all I wanted to show you today just remember transform translate and ah, uh, important is prefixing we need WebKit MS for Internet Explorer and no prefix for Mozilla Firefox. Yeah, so um, I can show you the, the table for um, yeah. transform. Oh. transform. That's a um, simple Alfred um, workflow or, or custom search. I can search can I use .com and you see CSS3 transforms, everything looks very good. Um, yeah, no IE8 support, you have to know that. No Opera Mini, um, is anybody using that? <laughs> you could write a fallback, but um, yeah, IE9 and up, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Sometimes there's a bug in, in Chrome, there's a font is a little blurry, but I have only seen it once or twice, twice, and I have no idea um, what the problem is. But I think it's a browser bug, and um, will be iron ironed out by the Chrome team. Yeah, so that's it. I hope you you liked it, and I hope you want to see more. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.